and welcome to this week's edition of Revved Up and as well a warm welcome to all the car lovers out there. It's a big week coming up for us as we talk to experts about one of the bigger cars in town as well and of course get you the biggest celebrities in town. We always get celebrities that uh, do come on the show and explain you know why they love the specific cars they rev throughout the streets here in Kampala. We also make sure yourself as always we get you those tips and also help you in getting a new car in the best of the bonds. Now we are shooting from uh, the lower terrace, yes, the lower lounge you could say, of the Kampala Serena Hotel. So we thank the Kampala Serena Hotel uh, for making sure they give us the shooting space week in, week out. All right, now the one thing we feel we really should clear as a bit of our social media, lots of uh, our followers, our viewers have uh, been commenting and suggesting why are we using government cars? Well, let me clear one thing. These are not defense number plates. These are bond number plates. I know it's a D at the end, but they're board number plates. All right, with that cleared, let's rev. On this edition of Revved Up. Changing the spark plugs in a car yourself can save you a lot of time and money and it's relatively easy to do. First, locate the spark plugs under the bonnet of the car by referencing your owner's manual. The location varies according to the number of cylinders in your engine. Wait until your engine has cooled down completely and then gently pull out the first spark plug by gripping the bottom of the wire plug and working it off until the spark plug is revealed. Do not yank the wire as it can easily be damaged. Grab a socket wrench and fit it with the extension bar that is correct for your car. Again, check the owner's manual and use it to carefully remove the spark plug. Make sure you buy the same kind of plugs that were in the engine before, as each car has different needs. If you're unsure, consult the owner's manual for guidance. Install the new plugs and tighten them by hand, ensuring that the wire cables are attached to the same plugs they were originally. It's very important not to over-tighten the spark plugs as they can very easily damage the engine and create costly repairs. Now your car should be ready to hit the road in tip-top shape. All right, the celebrity is here already. Uh, hi. Hi, Nameless. Nah, I'm playing with you. <laughs> Ah, he got me, man. He got me. Hey, nameless. Hey. Eh? Got... Thank you very much, man. No, no. What good another? You, what man. another? Are you, are, are you doing in this country, nameless? Just came to do some work. Some work. Yeah, you know, you know, I do, I do. My music is work, so yeah. I need to entertain some people. Ah, uh, pal. It's called for, man. Yeah. And, and I've got to ask you about uh, your music first of all. Uh, yeah. you, 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 you have very big hits here in Kampala. Mm. Uh, you're definitely big in Kenya, big in Tanzania, just the entire Africa, new jams and everything. Yeah. Uh, and you guys have been around for a while. Yeah. Uh, do, do you guys now feel the pressure? There's, there's a couple of nice young kids yeah. coming through. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you starting to be scared now, Nameless? It's not, I wouldn't call it be scared. Yeah. It's uh, actually, it's very motivating because um, the fresh blood makes the industry more exciting. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so for me, I think uh, us who've been there need to mentor, yeah. give them direction because we made some mistakes. Yeah. You don't want them to make that mistake. And they're the ones to take the music to the next level. Yeah. We, we've done what we needed to do. So these guys are there. Yeah. Competition is good. Yeah. Um, if uh, they're better there, they make you even better. Yeah. So, so for me, I, I look at it like more motivation, mm. encouraging. Um, Make sure we get our music to the next level. Yeah, let's talk about your cars, man. This is a car yeah. show. Uh, oh, yeah. It's revved up. It's a car yeah, show. Revved up. Yeah, <laughs> let, 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 let's now talk let's, about your cars. First yeah. of all, which, which cars do you drive and uh, mm. why do you drive those very cars? Uh, well, I'm, I went German. So I'm, I do, I have an X5 and Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. So why, where do you have those two? Why, why specifically those two? Uh, well, um, okay, X5, I've always 
I've always liked how X Files looked. Yeah. Before even I got into one, I yeah. just used to like the look of the X Files. From a distance. Yeah. From a distance, yeah. I was like, I like the way those cars look. Mm. You know. And then I always remember when I was very young as an artist, and uh, one of the guys when we were performing somewhere, I entered the next fine. Yeah. And I remember when I entered, I felt like it's like plain, you know, the lights and all that. Big, it's going yeah. Space and, and Yeah, and it was like 2004, I remember. Yeah. And I remember telling myself, I need to own one of these, you know. Uh, I felt, you know, when I was in the car, I was just feeling the comfort, the power, I was like, Base and I won't, yeah. So immediately I could afford it. Uh, I went for that. Yeah. Know. Final question. Uh, and this is a standard question on Revd Up. Uh, celebrity yeah. rides. Every time we have a celebrity on set, uh, we always ask you to send some advice out there yeah. to you know the younger namelesses, to, to, yeah. to the younger big musicians out there. Yeah. Uh, nameless, what, what are those two or three things you would tell a young star when yeah. they're going to get their first car? What, what should they look out for? It's their first car. They're, they're, they're not as rich. They're not that rich yet. What are the two or three pieces of advice you'd give such a person? Okay. Um, Normally, if you're starting up, you definitely be getting a second-hand car. Yeah. Um, so you need to you need to get to know their history of the car in terms of whoever had the car before. I always advise to go with a mechanic, uh, someone else who has to give you a third opinion. Yeah. Who will just list, check the car out and be like, oh, you know, this car looks nice, but it's mm -hmm. not as good inside. Mm -hmm. uh, that would definitely be one of the things I would say. Yeah. Secondly, you probably will not be able to own what you really want yet. Yet. Yeah. Um, if you're in entertainment, you always want to be a bit edgy with your car. So, flashy, <laughs> you know, a, a bit flashy. Yeah. You might want to be a bit flashy. Yeah. Uh, because you're an artist, and artists normally want to be a bit flashy. Yeah. Um, so, so look out for those kind of cars. Mm. Um, normally, the problem with such cars is that they're not. Um, their history is not that good because mm, mm. maybe they are high. Maybe it's been through an accident. Yeah, it's just yeah. worked on the yeah, other day. Yeah, stuff like that. So, yeah. so when you're going for such a car that is normally flashy, you have to remember that spare parts are not that easy to get and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you're going to go for that car, just make sure that you know you can get spares. Yeah. You yeah make sure yeah. that there are cars around that are like that. Yeah. Because you get a car that looks nice, the car gets spoiled. No you're spares, going, man. no going, spares. Man. Yeah. So yeah. that would be something else I'd say. Mm. And don't don't take a loan to buy a car. Yeah. You don't have to take a loan. Save up and and yeah. Once you start taking loans to buy a car, you're in then, trouble, man. You know you're living beyond your means. Yeah. Always live within your means. That's what I would tell them. Emless. Yo. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much for coming to us. Hey, our thanks for having me, man. Yeah. And uh, revved up. up revved up. One love. Futuristic vehicles. Brought to you by Shell V Power. Chrome plated grills, a fine glossy finish. Plush leather lining every inch of the interior. A digital media receiver. All this is nothing without performance. A great set of wheels is only as good as the engine powering it. And coursing through every great engine are the world's finest motor oils. It's all about the engine. Whatever you drive, whatever the condition, we have the right motor oil for your engine. Visit any Shell service station it's near you and choose the right oil for your engine. Shell Motor Oil because it's all about the engine. The Honda FC EV isn't a car that encourages subtlety. Everything about it is sharp, angular and monochromatic, a distinct difference from Honda's usual lineup. It has a certain futuristic appeal, however, and the sleek, gleaming bodywork is visually exciting. Like most concept cars of the future, the FC EV is not powered by an engine, but rather hydrogen fuel cells which are stacked into what would be the engine space. It is supposedly capable of driving 300 miles before its power source is depleted, an undeniably impressive advantage over other hydrogen-powered cars. The design of the exterior is aerodynamic, so although no approximate speed levels have been released, it certainly seems like it could be a fast ride. The car seats up to five passengers and continues with the futuristic design inside as well. The spaceship-like steering wheel adds a touch of sci-fi to the interior. 
and the white and black color scheme gives it a sharp, clean appearance. The dashboard is kept neat and tidy with just two screens acting as the instrument control panel and the satellite navigation and entertainment system. With such cars as the Honda FC EV available for mass production in the near future, it's hard to imagine why anyone would continue to drive regular cars. However, the difficulty lies in the lack of filling stations for electric and hydrogen cell engines. And until that problem is resolved, it's unlikely that we'll see the FC EV or its kind on the streets anytime soon. Right now let's talk some interaction here on revved up we make sure we are very interactive with you guys throughout the week and throughout the months and throughout uh, the year as well so as uh, it splashes out some water we are also splashing out some prizes big prizes are coming your way now all those prizes will be won via our facebook page look out for revved up uganda do like the page do give us your comments on the different issues and when the competition finally comes you're going to be super excited with this one. Plus, all the videos you're watching on NTV now are on online as well. That is our YouTube channel, Revved Up Uganda. Do join us as we splash out the prizes and also appreciate your support. Some vehicles are made for comfort, some for power, and others for speed. The modern man or woman looks for a car that can face the unpredictability of life with style and adaptability. And the Kia Sportage fulfills these criteria. Strong, chiseled, and supple, the exquisite bodywork suits the name because it looks and performs like an athlete. So I will let Mr. Aldo, who by the way is the sales uh, representative uh, from the Motor Center East Africa, take us to this one. Aldo, thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Andrew, for hosting us. Thank you. Uh, Kia Sportage, Kia Sportage. 
it is Kia Sportage as per the person who designed it. He yeah. loves to emphasize and the name Sportage comes from sport and then the age group that yeah. they do emphasize and target. Oh. So Sportage it is. Alright, uh, we have so many things to talk about. Uh, this is the 2015 edition. Um, uh, later on in the show I'll get you a couple of secrets that uh, probably I shouldn't have let out yet. But the all-wheel intelligence capabilities yes. of the car, what does it do and how much of an improvement is it in the driving experience? What the all-wheel driving intelligence system does is it apportions power mm. to the tires as per the need. Picture a situation, there is this very funny pothole just as you move out of Nakumat. Yeah. You usually cars get stuck there. So what happens is it will determine which tire needs more power. So let's assume the wheel to the back, the right one, yeah. is stuck. Right and it's, back. Yes, mm. suspended and mm. it's spinning a lot. Mm. So it will realize we need more power for the front and the left back so we can pull this out. So that means you don't strain the engine, but you still get out of a nasty situation. Very common. And it also has these capabilities. You don't, you don't really skid. Uh, for example, if you're moving up a hill that is, uh, that, that is good with grass, yes. um, unlike some other SUVs or some other hard coach cars we've seen that, you know, kind of struggle and keep, it doesn't really skid. No, it doesn't skid. It has, it's like we said, it is intelligent. Mm. It will distribute the traction accordingly and evenly. Mm. So it will get you out of any nasty situation let it be a hill or a slope, you'll always get out of it smooth. Okay, I've always come off with this whole line of, you know, we are classy, we are there to surprise you, we are above your expectations in terms of the experience. Uh, how do you rate this one? And on what specific seg segments would you say uh, bring out the message in the 2015 edition? Um, in the 2015 edition specifically, first of all, it is in the mini SUV category. This is really very sporty. Yeah. Now, one thing you'd really want to know about this Kia is it has evolved over time. It has come, this is the third generation. Even the shapes though, even the shapes of the Kias themselves have been evolving. The Kia is well known for its tiger nose grille. And if you go through, you realize it keeps changing. And then there's the whole element of the aerodynamic. It is smoothed over, still with a sporty feel. We shall take a break. Yeah, I'll explain about the aerodynamics. But my, my, one, one, one question I would really want to ask you is uh, safety. Yes. Uh, there's someone on our Facebook page who approached us the other day and said uh, one of the things they appreciate about Revd Up is we really emphasize safety. Airbags, because it's, it's, it's sporty, yes. it means it can be a fast car. Yes. Um, it's, it's good off-road, which means it can go on any of those rugged roads. So safety really comes into question. How good is it? Uh, safety, I'll start with the braking system. With the Kia Sportage 2015 model, you can go from 100 to 0 in 400 meters, which is a very short distance. That's less than 500 meters. Exactly. That is one. Two, it has the intelligent braking system. Three, again, it has reinforced steel, which is put at particular impact points in the vehicle. The airbags are all over. We have about eight airbags in the vehicle. So your safety is guaranteed a prolonged dashboard, which again will prevent impact with the windscreen compared to other vehicles within the mini SUV family. Hello. Let's go and check out the car itself. He's, he's said so many things about the car specifically. So as always, on Revd Up, we'll get you the details. Thank you very much though. All right, so let's talk about the front now, just to get you a couple of details. Beautiful grill. There's been a big change in the grill. This one is a more of a statement. Uh, um, I think Kia really would have thought about this because if you sit somewhere having a cup of tea and you see this approaching you from a distance, uh, it's not just sporty, it's also quite a statement. So good stuff uh, in terms of this. They have their daytime running lights, which of course, have so many guys say it's, it's, it helps with safety and everything, but I'm still going for a statement. Have you been driving on any of the Kampala roads and you see some lights during the day, like at midnight, splashing? I think it's, uh, it's, it's quite a statement as well. And then you've got lots of LED in here. It's um, one of those cars that again explains the new generation and how most of these car companies now are designing uh, the, the, their front part. It's, 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 it's almost getting more pointed. And uh, more interestingly, since we've talked about this as a car that is good on and off the road, uh, you've got to focus its arrival angle. Focus on its arrival angle. How well does it arrive in some of those potholes, in some of those rugged areas? It's fairly fine. Look, it's not the very best I've seen, but it's fairly fine. And this should be able to help you in most of the parts here in Kampala. Beautiful on the front. Let's go on the inside. All right, so we are inside now. As a driver, uh, one of the first things you check out is if you're seated comfortably. And of course, it's got, you know, the normal change of the seats, you know, to make sure you can sit as comfortably as you can. But that aside, uh, you've got to talk about the 
the, the effectiveness of its dashboard. I know how easily you can access most of your controls. You've got your radio here, you've got your AC, and it's as simple as saying it's very close because uh, it's not the biggest uh, of SUVs on the inside. It's kind of compact, so you've got everything you really want to use uh, next to you. Just one more uh, big point for you as well. It's got both manual and automatic transmission, six speed. Uh, so it should be an interesting one, whichever way uh, you decide to go in for. Right now, let's talk about its uh, steering wheel then. First of all, the display unit right in front of it, unlike some of the cars we've shown, is straight to the basics. You don't have too much flashing in front of you, which maybe <laughs> could confuse a couple of drivers. Uh, but what really attracts my attention is that uh, the steering wheel is uh, motor driven. Now, what I mean by motor driven is uh, it's, it's smoother. It's, it's really smoother in usage, whether you're going through corners, whether you're driving faster. Uh, plus, you've seen most of the cars when they're parked, you can't really do this. See that? That's how far it can go, just because it's motor driven. And it's got a couple of apps on it as well. It's quite uh, multifunctional. You can, of course, do your Bluetooth, you can do your calls, you can uh, watch out for your mode, uh, your driving mode as well. So, a couple of changes, but I think it's, 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 it's a very good one because it's, it's very easy to use. And as a driver, you just want to make sure you're very comfortable. All right, this aside, you've got to try and focus on the music because. Kia has focused on the driving experience. They're saying they're trying to make you enjoy your car. So sound is something they do. They have two Twitter speakers right here, right in front. And then you've got four more on the back, on the doors. Yeah, yes, on the doors. One, two, three, four. Yes, on the doors. So you have lots of music to deal with. Good experience now, isn't it? All right, so let's take uh, this beautiful machine on the road now. Uh, for starters, when you get into a car, a couple of things you need to do first. Get uh, your seatbelt on. And because it's got a retractable sunroof, I easily could have opened this, but hey, it's raining out there, so I really can't uh, open the sunroof. I have two uh, passengers behind, which should help us check out their legroom and uh, headroom as well, just to confirm how good this mini SUV can be. But more interestingly, we are dealing with 166. That's the horsepower. Let's do this. Slightly wet road. We're not going to only depend on dry road. So there you go. All right, now since it's raining, uh, one of the things uh, that safety does engulf is not just the seat belts, it's not just uh, having hard steel in the impact uh, areas of the car. It's also about you know seeing where you're going. Uh, so what you do is you put your AC in. Uh, some cars will have provisions of AC directly, uh, of course, to the, to the to the main wiper area in front. But the wipers are certainly doing a very good job. They are fully cleaning uh, your screen. I've ever used wipers uh, which clean on their way up and add more dirt on their way down <laughs> it's it's very sad but this one is doing a good job I've seen cars that uh, skid on roads like these ones and we've talked about the specs in this one it certainly does well uh, the skidding shouldn't be one of your biggest problems if you're driving the kia uh, the kia sportage uh, which uh, makes it very comfortable because like i said most of our roads outside kampala are not very good so you need a car that is very comfortable that has good very good good handling and that's certainly what we are doing now um, and at the end of the day you might uh, jump into a car that everyone tells is powerful but when you get into areas where you normally would skid, it probably gets worse for you. So, the Kia Sportage, ladies and gentlemen, it's raining, we're listening to music, this is revved up, we're suddenly having a very good day. So I'm going to say bye for now inside the car as I let my passengers in on the music. The Kia Sportage is reminiscent of a professional athlete. Sculpted, powerful, agile and durable. There are few climates that this car cannot endure and few people who would not be suited for it. The Sportage is special because although it has a fiercely unique look, the driver is able to imprint onto the vehicle, making it exclusive to its owner. You will never feel unimportant or indistinct in this car. The Kia Sportage is always extraordinary so after a long day of shooting there are two final things to do one is quench your thirst because it's been quite a long day and then pack up your equipment and you're out oh i'd forgotten this see you guys next week <laughs>